Hey everyone, I'm Dave with Beast Made Reviews. Of course, a channel dedicated to reviewing quality at different price points. Now, this is kind of a different review. I initially clumped this review together with a larger review of some of my favorite fountain pens. That larger video is up here. You can go and check that out. But today, this review is going to be my full thoughts, pros, cons, everything, my full version, extended cut version of this review of this fountain pen. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in any of these, definitely check out the links below. Enjoy. Next is another choice from Shown Design, and this is their Ultem pen. Now, the Shown Design Ultem is one of my absolute favorite pens out of all the pens in my collection. This is one that I just have to always have. This is amazing. This is part of the engineered plastics line from Shown Design. It includes Ultem, which is what I'm showing here, and also Peak, which is a different type of engineered plastic that has this milky, creamy look to it, and then Black Ultem, which is just Ultem, but just dark black. Ultem is a material that is often used for guitar picks, and I have a few of these Altex pens by Dunlop just lying around in the house. So the nerd in me really had to get this Altem pen. <laughs> now this was Shown Design's foray into making full-sized fountain pens, and they did a great job with this. It is just a fantastic pen overall. I love the finial on the cap and on the barrel itself. There are tons of O-rings everywhere. Naturally, there's one in the cap, so whenever you're replacing the cap on the barrel, it just slides into place. You can post the cap as well, and that O-ring catches in just the most satisfying way, and it sticks there. It's great. Now you can use an international cartridge with this. You can use a converter with this, which I've used before as well. But I think the best way to use this pen is to eyedropper it. This was designed with an eyedropper in mind. So for this pen, I went ahead and eyedroppered the whole thing. And going with the guitar theme, I found out that Diamine has a series of inks based on Gibson guitars. So I had to get a couple of them. <laughs> and this one is inked up with the Tobacco Sunburst by Diamine, which I absolutely love. It's a great warm golden brown color with a lot of shading. Now this has a Yovo number no. six nib on here and it writes like an absolute dream. There's just a slight bit of feedback on on it. It's a very wet writer and it's just really fun, really comfortable to use. I absolutely love it. And with this pen, I have almost zero complaints about it. I have almost nothing I would improve. I suppose the only thing that I would complain about is really something that I'm not really upset about and that's their box. They have a very utilitarian box that is clear and kind of cheap looking. To me, this is something I will throw away anyway, even if it's nice. So it doesn't really bother me, but some people might like to have something with just a little bit more design on it. And I am really stretching it, as you can tell. <laughs> this is an absolute perfect pen. I love it. It is not inexpensive. This is $250 for this pen. It is on the high side, but with that price comes perfection. And $250 on this pen is absolutely worth it. If you want a pen that writes like a dream, that looks incredible, get this pen. It's fantastic. I think everyone should have at least one fountain pen in their collection to write with, to enjoy the kind of slower pace that a fountain pen brings. I think it's a very enjoyable experience with writing, and I think all of these pens are excellent, excellent pens. I'd love to know your thoughts though, so if you have any favorite fountain pens that I forgot to mention, definitely leave a comment of your favorite fountain pens. As always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below on your way out. I'll love you for it. I'll see you next time. I'm Dave with Beast Made Reviews.